So one of the things that we've learned in Excel so far is that we are able to uh, work with different cell ranges. Well, one of the things we can do with these cell ranges is obviously I can uh, make a simple entering of a 5 at B14 and then right beside that say B14. That's not terribly anything new. But what we're able to actually do is we're able to uh, start to order, order, organize things a little bit differently when we start working with multiple sheets. Say for example I've got quarters one through four uh, going on here. And I want to do pretty much the exact same thing in each of them. Now yes, I could go through the long process of copy and pasting, but if I wanted to go one step further, one step faster, what I'm able to actually do is I'm able to hold down my shift key and then press quarter four. Now what you should see happen is all of my categories, all my worksheets here, have just become highlighted. And if I click on any one of these, you notice they're still technically highlighted. There's a little line right here. But now when I make a change, say for example I click the auto sum button in quarter one. As soon as I hit enter, not only does that change happen in quarter one, but quarter two now has it. Quarter three now has it, quarter four now has it. Again, if I go to quarter three, and let's say I use the uh, autofill function, and I just click, hold, and drag across, what I should get is all of my categories have been selected. Now, one of the things I might need to do is obviously once I've selected this, how do I get away with it? Or how do I uncheck them? I just simply have to click documentation. The reason why is because documentation is not part of the group. So if I were to only have quarter one and quarter two, if I clicked on quarter four, for example, we would ungroup it. Now you might be asking yourself what happens if all of them are selected. If I click on one, that gets rid of them. 